Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm HM26 and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video, we are going to be building a modern apartment skyscraper. Just a reminder before the tutorial starts, this skyscraper will be much quicker to build than you think. Once we build the first floor, we can use the slash clone command to copy the floors. This skyscraper will have 37 luxury apartments plus a private lounge on the highest floor. And each apartment will have two bedrooms and two bathrooms. The first step to building our skyscraper is to dig out the outline. Start by digging out five blocks straight, then four blocks to the left, and then seven blocks to the right, and another seven blocks to the left, then 12 blocks to the right, and then 22 blocks to the right. Now let's dig out 14 blocks to the right, and then one block inward, and then nine blocks to the right again. And just join it on to the remaining outline. And now we will dig out all the remaining blocks within the outline. In the middle bottom left corner we can fill it in with a 7x4 base for the lifts using quartz blocks. On top of the slab we will add more quartz blocks but in an M shape. And now we will extend it six blocks higher. Now let's fill in the inside of the lifts with ladders. In front of the lifts we will add another row of quartz blocks and on top of them we can add birch pressure plates and in between them we will add iron doors. And on top of the doors we will add sea lanterns. And above the sea lanterns we can fill in the extra space with white stained glass. Now we're going to add some white concrete support columns on the places on the ground that I have marked, just like shown. To start, make them the same height as the lifts. Now let's fill in the ground with a slab of stripped birch wood. In front of the lifts we will build a wall of stripped spruce wood, leaving a two block gap on either side. And now we will fill in the space between these two front columns with a wall of quartz blocks. On the right side of the lifts we will add a wall of quartz blocks. 
and we will extend the wall four blocks to the left. On the back part of the building, parallel to the lifts, we will build an eight block long wall of quartz blocks. Right beside the lifts, add a four block long quartz block wall. On the other side of the building, add six three block wide brick columns just like shown. And now we will extend the brick columns to the same height as all the other ones. And now all of the columns, walls and even the lifts as well, we can extend four blocks higher. And now, eight blocks above ground level, we can fill in the first floor using bone block. On the first floor, fill in the empty space next to the strip spruce wall with more blocks. And on the right, we will add an iron door with pressure plates on either side and a sea lantern on top. This will be the entrance to the apartment. Now we will add a few more walls around the apartment using quartz blocks. This one here will separate the kitchen from the bathroom. and these walls will separate the bedroom from the bathroom. Now let's start adding in the windows. Next to the lifts, we will add white stained glass and all the way around the apartment will be light blue stained glass. To make doorways for entrances to the building, place down two blocks of smooth stone and on either side, two three block high columns of smooth stone and two more blocks in the middle. On the inside and outside of the doorway, place down some pressure plates and two iron doors in the middle. Now we can use white stained glass to make the windows around the lobby.
and I'm going to add a few stripes of light blue stained glass. Outside the building, we can fill in the ground with stripped jungle wood. And on each corner, we can have some strips of grass. We can add bone meal to the patches of grass to make small plants and flowers. On this portion of grass, I'm going to plant an oak tree. We can also tap on the small grass with bone meal to make it grow even taller. And on each side of the doorways we can add some columns of end rods for light. To light up the lobby when it's dark we can add a row of end rods for light and place a stone slab on top. For some nature inside the lobby, we can also add a few patches of grass, just like shown. We can also add some vines hanging down the brick columns. You only need to place them on the top, and they'll eventually grow all the way down.
we can add a small seat in front of the quartz wall using stone slabs and birch wood stairs. And we can place two small flower pots on either side. Once we've done this, the lobby is completed. Now we can start working on the apartment interior. To make a small kitchen, we can place two furnaces and two cauldrons next to each other with a block of iron in between. Place two iron blocks on top of the furnaces and two iron trapdoors to make exhaust fans. And place two tripwire hooks in front of the cauldrons to make sinks. And we can place a small flower pot in between. And we can add some chests for some pull-out drawers. And for some light in the kitchen, we can add a column of end rods. On the other side of the kitchen we can make some shelves using oak wood slabs. And to make a dinner table we can start by using some birch wood stairs for seats. And to make the table we can place down some oak fences with some pressure plates on top. In the corner in front of the column we can add some more end rods for light and place down three stripped spruce wood blocks with some leaves on top. In the other corner of the apartment we can make a small living room. We can start by placing two columns of bookshelves and in the middle to make a TV we can place down two black concrete blocks and two slabs on top and below. And to make a seat we can place down two oak wood stairs and some grey wool blocks on either side with flower pots. And we can also use white banners to make curtains. Now let's head down the hallway and on the left, this room here, we'll put an oak door on the front we can go inside and this is going to be the bathroom. To make a toilet, place a quartz block down in the corner, an upside down quartz stair in front of it, destroy the back block and put another upside down quartz stair behind it and a full quartz block on top with a button on the side. To make a sink we can use a cauldron and a tripwire hook. And to make a working shower, place a dispenser on the roof and light blue stained glass panes on either side, just like this. Place a button below the dispenser and inside it we can place a bucket of water. And if we turn it on using the button, water starts flowing out. And if we turn it off, the water stops flowing. We can use quartz slabs to make some shelves. And if we head down the hallway, these two rooms here are going to be bedrooms. To make a bed, place six white wool blocks down with two light grey carpets on top to make pillows. And to make a bedside table, we can place a small oak slab with a flower pot on top. In the corner, we can add a bookshelf with a small seat right beside it. We can use this tiny room here to make a wardrobe. Start by placing down some birch doors with some oak wood planks on top. Inside the wardrobe we can place down some armour stands. And we can use iron and leather armour for clothes. And just like in the living room, we can use white banners for curtains. We can add another bedroom and bathroom in the rooms on the other side of the hallway. At the end of the hallway, we can add some stripped oak wood blocks with some leaves on top. 
and place trapdoors on each block. In the bedrooms and bathrooms, we can use redstone lamps and daylight sensors to make lights. And now we have completely finished the apartment. We've only built one floor so far, but that doesn't matter because we can use the slash clone command to copy the floors. If you clone all of the existing floors five times, you'll end up with 32 floors, but I'm gonna add an extra five. So in total, we have 37 apartments. Now we can start working on the private lounge for the highest floor. First of all, we need to add another level on the lifts. To fill in the floor, we can use bone block, and we can also extend the three center concrete columns by four blocks. And to make the windows, we'll use light blue stained glass. Inside the lounge area, we can start off by making a few sets of seats and tables. To make seats, we'll use birch stairs and grey wall blocks on either side. To make tables, we'll use birch fences and on top, place white and light grey carpets. Next to the tables, we'll add a bench using quartz blocks. And to make sinks, we'll use cauldrons. To make water fountains, place down some more blocks and light blue stained glass. In front of them, place down some quartz slabs and tripwire hooks on the glass blocks. front corner of the lounge place down three blocks of stripped spruce wood and on top some oak leaves. And now we have finished working on the private lounge, so now we can start adding in the roof. Add rows of quartz blocks across the edges, and fill in the rest with bone block. And add quartz slabs across the outline. In the center of the roof, place down a five x five area of iron bars, In the middle, we can use end rods to make the building's antenna. We'll use smooth stone and rails to make different mechanical parts on the roof. Behind the antenna, place down three redstone lamps that are all switched on. To 
make each of the air conditioning units start by placing down four blocks of smooth stone. And on each one, place down four rails in a circular pattern. And now guys, it has been a long building process, but we have completely finished our skyscraper. So guys, that is all for now. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos just like this one. Have an awesome day everyone, see you in the next tutorial.